Preview. Preview. Are you serious? Are you serious? Hang on just one second here. I'll make sure that everyone can participate here. Let's turn that chat room on. And it is on. All right. Uh, guys, we're back. Okay, I told you we would be. And tonight I'll be live with you with a full program at on Prime Time Live at 10 p.m. Eastern tonight here from the Salvation Station here in West Lafayette, Indiana. But I wanted to go live right now because pressing information has just come forward, some breaking news coming out of the U.S. Geological Survey. And actually, let me just get to this report right away uh, because it is very disturbing. But it, it, finally, the mainstream, lamestream, fake news media is finally going to cover what we have been covering now for nearly four years, and that is Yellowstone Super Volcano. A map has been released by the U.S. Geological Survey that shows that the ground deformation around the caldera over the last two years is taking place drastically. Uh, it continues to rise and deform the surface around the super volcano uh, in Yellowstone National Park. Matter of fact, a map shows how the ground, and I put it in my thumbnail, how the ground around Yellowstone super volcano has deformed over the last two years and has re been released by the U.S. Geological Survey. The map by USGS geophysicist Chuck Wicks shows movement around the caldera between 2015 and 2017. What? And he says using a radar images of the Earth's surface collected from uh, orbiting satellites. Matter of fact, in this time, uh, the ground around the Norris Geyser Basin rose by just under three inches while there was a down dropping, okay, on the earth within Yellowstone's cauldron. And in the map, the rings of color show where the ground elevation has changed. So, with this in mind, it means that the magma, the lava, the molten lava is moving and rotating, but pressure is building at the same time. And uh, with this taking place, the uplift and subsequent is, uh, is usually interpreted as due to addition or withdrawal of the deep, deep magma, uh, the magma and related gases and water even at depths of 5 to 15 kilometers okay, or somewhere between three and nine miles beneath the ground surface. According to the U.S. Geological Survey, this cycle of uplifting and subsequent is common and seems tied to the earthquake swarms, that is, swarms appear to be releasing the pressure that caused the initial uplift, thus allowing the region to return to a period of normalcy. But the problem is we don't, we're not getting normalcy. We're getting raising, lowering in different areas, raising much more in others, and swarms of quakes now that has now since June the 12th, uh, there has been, during a period of time from June the 12th of this year to August the 3rd of this year, there has been 1,562 earthquakes that have taken place uh, right there at the Yellowstone Super Volcano. What? With the biggest one of all of those at 4.4, all of them are very shallow. They're in that range um, of approximately somewhere between 7 and 12 kilometers. And with that going on, the earthquake swarms regularly occur, occur at Yellowstone. And uh, Jamie Farrell a research professor at the University of Utah, which monitors the volcanic activity at the site, said, quote, on average, Yellowstone sees around 1,500 to 2,000 earthquakes a year, a year, which is still a ton, but we've had 1,562 in less than eight weeks. And so this is a, this is a significant um, increase in earthquakes at the supervolcano.
Now we know that some of the roads in the area have melted from the heat. We know some of the hot springs are so hot it's scalded animals and even people that have fallen into them. We know that herds of animals have been seen fleeing the Yellowstone National Park over the same two-year time period. And we've covered all of that. But mainstream, lamestream media has had a reluctancy to even bring this to the table. It's about time. Uh, and it's because U.S. Geological Survey is, is saying, look, we, we got to tell people what's going on. Understanding that the ground deformation around volcanoes is important for getting an idea of what's happening beneath the surface. Major changes to the ground surface over time, such as swelling and sinking or cracking, can provide a warning that the volcano's behavior is changing, potentially indicating it's about to erupt. What? Yellowstone, are you about ready to blow? Well, changes to Yellowstone surface some uh, could be considered normal at the current map, but that would be over a longer period of time, not in this short window of the last eight weeks. And of course, even the short window of two years is quite significant. So what we've seen is a, a drastic change in the supervolcano behavior over the last two years and a uh, um, acute uh, readjustment now, uh, an ac a very acute situation developing at Yellowstone National Park at the supervolcano there in Montana. So we're going to continue to monitor it, keep our eyes open. We'll talk about it tonight during tonight's prime time live at 10 p.m. You don't want to be late. It will be a powerful broadcast. We'll be live right here in the uh, studios of the Salvation Station, West Lafayette, Indiana. I'll see you guys. Are you serious? Are you listening to what I'm telling you? It's been a drastic change over the last two years, and it's an acute situation now in the last two months. What does this all mean? We'll try to get more information for you. And we'll be a lot more proactive telling it to you than mainstream, lamestream media. We probably won't hear from them again for another four years. That's if we have another four years. Just like uh, one of the experts gave a speech down in Fort Lauderdale, Florida a few weeks ago. I was there in attendance listening to his presentation. He had... He had worked for Jacques Cousteau, and he had been, he's been involved in uh, sea, sea level rises around the globe, and his words were about super volcano at Yellowstone. It's not a question of if it's going to blow. It's a question of when, and he said, we don't know if it's in 200 years or 200 days, but it's certainly alive. There is a huge coronal hole at the sun, right on the sun's atmosphere. Huge! Matter of fact, this hole just opened up in the sun's atmosphere and it is turning toward Earth as we speak. According to NASA, the Solar Dynamic Observatory is monitoring this structure which straddles the sun's equator just behind sunspot AR2670. This thing is massive! Matter of fact, this is a coronal hole a region where the sun's magnetic field has peeled back and allowed gases of material to escape like high speeds of solar winds. A stream of solar wind flowing from this hole could reach our planet during the early hours of August 12th as expected and enhanced magnetic fields at the leading edge of the stream will interact with our planet's magnetosphere, possibly sparking mild geomagnetic storms. Also, folks, if there's a solar flare right now, if there's a solar flare, if there's an eruption, explosion, a kill shot is possible. And that is why we're very, very concerned. We've got a lot going on up there in space right now affecting the Earth. Gamma rays, UV rays, uh, cosmic rays of biblical proportion. And then what about planet X? Are you serious? And you're not, this is what's going to blow your mind. This will blow your mind. A hundred and thirty-nine fireballs 
breaking through the earth's atmosphere it's unprecedented it's insanity it's insane but it's happening right now and so we've got to really um the signs of the end time look the bible said there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and distress of nations with perplexity, the sea, the waves roaring, and men's hearts will fail them for fear, for looking after those things coming upon the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud of power and great glory. When these things begin to come to pass, he said, look up, lift up your head, your redemption's drawn out. Look, the Lord hasn't given you the spirit of fear. This is a warning to the world that Jesus is coming. The bride is ready. Are you? Yeah.